you lose what individualism you have. If you have enough, of course, you retain some of it. But most don't have enough, so you become watchers of game shows, you know, and things like that. Wait, now? Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's Godan. I got a quick video uh, for this season. Hopefully, I'll get it out and post it before the season is over. I'm not sure. A uh, quick tip, a tip regarding unshielding and raiding. This season before the Throne Wars has been crazy. We've been going up and down in the leaderboard. Everyone is trying to be promoted. If you caught Zalan's video, everyone in the Legend League is fighting hard. For the last couple days, last three days, there's not e wasn't even a half a million VP difference between uh, the ranking alliances for the right above the motion zone for 16, 17, and 18. We've got ourselves a little bit of a lead right now, but it has been hectic. And let me tell you why. It's hard to keep any lands. Everyone is capping. Can't say everyone's deleting, but everyone is capping. All garrisons are being hit. So you have to make all your raids worthwhile. You're either capping for a VP, getting the delete bonuses, getting the uh, extra VP bonuses, or you're hitting garrisons that are double to triple your VP value. Otherwise, you're going to be losing VP and bleeding VP left and right. So right now, it's basically, uh, I'm capping. I'm capping and hitting garrisons only. There is no event that is taking place for me. This event, immunity, no one's immune to wanting to be in the Throne Wars. If you're going for the event and you're getting it done, I hope you're doing it by getting VP, especially if you're in the Legend League. Otherwise, you're hurting your team. But take a look. What I wanted to cover is VP lands. Right now I have a shield. Six hours. Six hours. If I take a look at my lands, when I'm capping VP lands, I'm capping something for a bonus. Over 10,000 VP, that's great. But I also prefer capping lands that I'll automatically uh, deplete when I cap them. And I get the extra bonus on top of that. These lands were bonus lands but they weren't deplete lands but take a look at this right now I have two hours on the shield I'm uh, getting 4191 VP points per hour so this is going to be ready for me before my shield busts for me to get the deplete bonus but look when I originally had captured this land I had a different Titan on it I had something like this something that wasn't maximizing the land but it was raided they didn't cap it they just raided it they made a mistake which was great for me so I went ahead and changed my defense put the Dega on it to get the full maximum production of VP so within the two hours I'll be able to get the deplete bonus so as I'm capping I only have so many defenders but I want to put something on each land regardless of what it is I want my enemies to use six stones, six stones per raid. You gotta use six stones. You can use six stones to cap me or just three to raid me, which benefits me if you don't take it, as I just showed you. But look at my log. I'm telling you, raiding, garrison's getting hit, garrison's getting hit, lands are being taken. It's okay, garrison's being hit. But I'm loving this. Every once in a while I get a defended land. But what I really like, I don't know if it's still going to show. I got some defended garrisons. Yeah. Very stoked. Siggy's doing his job. Siggy did his job. But here's the big kick, right? That's a big kick for me. It may not be for you. One fusion away. One fusion away. One fusion away. But I can't decide. What am I going to get rid of? I can't decide. 
I know it's worth it, but man, getting yourself a four star Titan is not easy. Anyways, as always, relax, enjoy, be balanced, have fun, and take care. Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it.